The biggest problem I think this truck solves is that um, when operating in electric mode, no exhaust comes out of this vehicle. So as we go into a fire station, as we're leaving a fire station, there's no particulates. All of our stations uh, have kind of leading edge opportunities to exhaust those particulates out. But at the end of the day, we can remove most, if not all of, in this case, all of uh, the diesel particulates that could, can cause cancers in firefighters. Every fire department across the country right now is having um, cancer reduction efforts um, so that we can eliminate, hopefully, cancer risk in firefighters as much as we can. But that's also true when, it's, when this is pumping on the side of a road, our engineers, by nature, have to stand near the truck. When operating in electric, we can remove those exhaust as well. So even when we're on calls, we can remove that from the community. We can certainly reduce carbon emissions. Uh, we'll run the study to see what is the offset between the cost for electric versus the cost running off diesel. But really the goal of this is to be part of the initiative as we're leading towards electrification of a fleet really across all lines of service. But um, reducing the cancer um, causing elements of the truck is, means a lot to our firefighters. And it's been an initiative for a long time support of our town manager's office to be able to say, hey, this is what we're doing to help support the change. Um, and then also being a part of the development of it. It's, it's exciting for Gilbert to be on that leading edge. So whatever the next phase of electrification is, because we know it's going to continue to evolve, we're a part of that. So we're a partnership in understanding effective ways to charge it, to maximize efficiencies on that charging. To be a part of that solution is exciting for us. And that will lead to the next opportunity um, with Pierce or others as we continue in this space.